Hi guys, welcome back to The Hive. Well, I am headed out of state again, yes. But guys, while I am driving, um, I'm gonna ask y'all some questions and it is about hygiene. Welcome to Biology. The things about hygiene, well, I can only speak as far as a woman because I am a woman. Um, the certain hygiene products that you use, what is the correct products to use, things that you should not use as a female that a lot of people do use. Um, when it comes down to speaking of things that you should not use, I am a licensed, registered no, let me put it the right way. I am an RMA, registered medical assistant, and after I did go get my RN, which is a registered nurse. Nevertheless, I'm a woman and I do go get my pap smears every year, yes. So, my question is, dish or not to dish? Hmm. Is it safe for your body to douche? Or is it not safe for your body to be douche? Well guys, it is not safe to douche your vajayjay, your pocketbook, your cookie jar. That is not safe. Your body, I am so sorry for the sun guys. I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, your body automatically does it wash with on flow every month besides that your body cleans itself on an everyday 24 7 7 days a week thing so to douche is absolutely a no what you are doing when you are dushing the vajayjay is actually pushing bacteria up where the bacteria really need to flow down so this will cause yeast infection um, and, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. So dish the dish and do not dish the vajayjay because it's not good for the vajayjay. It is its own cleaning mechanism, if you will, on itself. So it knows how to clean itself, but guys, still take a bath showers wash and clean the JJ the right way so the next thing is guys of the feminine washes should you use with a feminine wash or shouldn't you well from experience I was using summer e for about uh, better part of about 10 years because I grew up my mom saying hey you use summer eve body wash well you know the JJ wash and also um, the spray so as I got older and started going to the doctor myself come to find out that is one of the worst things you can also use and that is to use those things to clean your JJ well, it is a YouTuber that I absolutely love her. I am Veronica. Well, she mentioned about on a live on IG about um, the body wash, the honey pot. So I was just like, I want to see what is the honey pot. So the honey pot can be found at Target. Um, at Target here is $8.99. Um, I did go and look online and I did purchase the sensitive anything that I use for my JJ area definitely definitely I use sensitive for the simple reason there are so many different things inside a product you don't know you may be allergic to it and the worst thing you want where you have it at a high rate and you have to come down 
off of that because who wants a stuffy with JJ? Mm, no, no one does. So, um, what I find with the honey pot, I did like the honey pot. Um, I cannot use it every day. I cannot use that every day. So, um, yes, I am going to tell you this and I am a very clean person. Um, I am married. My husband will tell you, he has never sent, smelled a scent out of me ever. Anyone I ever dated, he never smelled a scent out of me. Um, one of the one things that I do, I give my JJ water baths. So if you know what that is, you can do it in the shower and also you can do it in the bathtub. I per se don't care to take a bath in our bathtub. I'm so used to a jet tub um, like I had in my previous home. So I do like the jet tubs because it helps your body in so many different ways. But our home does not have a jet tub. So two years, I've never been in that tub. So in the shower, you can do a vagina water wash. And that is simple, guys. That is just washing over JJ with simple water. That's it. Um, if you do it the correct way, the last thing you got to worry about is an odor because you will get it. Okay, the next thing, guys, is feminine spray. Is it good to use this feminine spray or not? And if you do, what is the correct way to use or to spray feminine wash? Feminine spray, sorry. So, yes to feminine spray. Now, it is the thing, what is the correct way to spray it? <sighs> Guys, when I was in high school, this say on friend that we had um, in high school, she would actually use feminine spray. Guys, hold it and spray it red at her for JJ. Guys, that is so wrong. Um, feminine spray is to be sprayed on your lower tummy, on your thighs, and on your butt and back thighs. So that is the only place that you're supposed to spray feminine spray. It is not supposed to be any way remotely close to your lips of your JJ. period. You will be on fire and you will be calling a fire truck, okay? So, mm -mm, don't do that. So, the next thing, guys, is... Which one is better, maxi pads or tampons? So, guys, because I am the Easter that I am, I don't have to use either one because I had a hysterectomy about a year ago. Well, sorry, over a year ago. So, I am prancing and dancing. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff anymore. But, um, when I was in high school, I was a cheerleader. So, therefore, I did use tampons when I was in high school. Um, from then on, I did go to Mexi well, the Mexi pads, but they were the thins. So, um, since we're on that subject, how often do you change your pad or tampon? On the tampons, that string will basically let you know it. You will get a sensation. Um, if a female ever paid attention to it, it's a sensation that cord will give you and it'll let you know it is time. Nevertheless, if you are not that type of person that pays attention to that and really don't know the correct time to change a tampon, um, I'm not a medical doctor, but I would say at least every two hours or when you go to the restroom. So um, I was on a live on last night and they were talking about the ring. Um, it's the cup. I don't know anything about that. Um, I don't, even if I was having a cycle, I don't think I would do that because that's to me, ugh, that's gross. I'm sorry, that's just me. That's just how I see it. 
So I would never use the cup if I did have a cycle, guys. I would never use that. So um, another thing with talking about that, what is the correct way to dispose your sanitary items? Guys, it is so many times that I was in high school, I was in college, uh, working on jobs and going to the restroom, and the disgusting way females discard their is so gross. So I can honestly say my mother taught me when I was just starting my cycle in fifth grade, and yes, I, I, a long time, fifth grade, um, how to discard it and discard it the correct way. So, the correct way to discard a tampon is to just flush it. The two that it goes in, put it into the package of the one that you are currently getting ready to use, slide it in there, roll it with toilet tissue, and discard it. Guys, I'm so sorry about this sun. It, I mean, it's so pretty and bright, but I, it's like I'm driving on to the sun. Um, the correct way to dispose a maxi pad is your previous whatever the new one that you're using take that wrapper and the sticky part of it take that paper and wrap it and wrap it in toilet tissue that is the correct way that you are going to expose these items it is gross some of the things that I've seen and I mean especially when you're working on a job and all of these are grown adults it's nasty so please dispose those items the correct way the next things guys this is gonna take you by storm <laughs> when I say by storm by storm so I was talking to a group of friends of mine and one of the females said she don't bathe her backside hole if you will I'm sitting there like, hmm? who do not clean their booty as Maximus? So she was like, there is nothing supposed to be around that area. So how do you wipe? So therefore you are crusty in the area. <laughs> so guys, I'm look, bathe yourself. That's all I got to say because the booty has cheeks and the booty cheeks sits like that. And you're going up and down, up and down, you're going to sweat in between the booty cheeks. And that crust I get. Okay, I'm stopping right there, okay? <laughs> so the name of the game to the booty cheeks, watch them. So, guys, the next thing of hygiene is. deodorant or not to use deodorant well guys I have been on the same deodorant for years back in high school my mom used to buy Tussie if y'all don't remember what Tussie deodorant is I will insert it oh my god it is like back history I'm not sure if they still sell it in the stores now but it is Tussie it used to come on a jar with the cream and also it will come in a roller form guys that 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 that's not even deodorant that thing will give me rises and kernels up under my arms like crazy if you have sensitive skin mind the deodorant that you use please mind so the deodorant that my body absolutely love is suave um, I can't use Dial, I can't use Dove, I can't use any of that. Um, I did pick up about a month ago and I'm still testing it out. And it is um, Native, it's N-A-T-I-V-E. 
Um, I have the cucumber. I don't know if it's cucumber mint or whatever. But um, I've been using that to convert your body over. Um, it's it's a good deodorant. I can say it's all natural. Um, but I am that girl that does not have to wear deodorant like that. I can literally go three weeks and don't have to wear deodorant. I am like super blessed with that. But on my dad's side of the family, we are those type of people. You don't have to use deodorant like that. So um, I do wear deodorant regardless. If I'm at home, um, I take my showers and stuff and I don't put on deodorant if I'm not gonna be out for days, um, two, three, four days, whatever. No, I do not put on any deodorant because my body does not perspire like that. Um, it is some people that really give off a lot of perspire, but I'm not one of those people, so I don't have to worry about all of the extra odors and sweats and all of that. I don't have to worry about any of those things. So, um, guys, yes, um, if you have to wear deodorant, make sure you... Um, clean up under your arms the proper way and put on your deodorant the proper way. Um, that one swipe deodorant does not work. <laughs> so guys, what is the next one on hygiene? To shave or not to shave? That's the question. So guys, to shave. I am sorry. Your body sweats, and you have sweat glands in every hair follicle you have. You have sweat glands, and if you do know, you have hair on every part of your body except the palm of your hands and the bottom of your feet. Did you know that? So, guys, um, in those areas, the shade. <laughs> so yes, I shave under my armpits, my girly areas, and I do that twice a week because I don't want no kind of spruce ears or anything like that. I'm going to keep myself well maintained at all given times. So to shave, yes. It is a lot of people that say, no, I'm not going to shave. I like being woolly bully, hilly woolly. No. I just personally can't do it. I I can't do it. So, the next big guys is to wear panties or not to wear panties. So, guys, was on well I was I will take it back to this first when I first met my husband I explained to him I said let me tell you something I am not one of those grip girls so I don't wear underwear every day and he looked at me he was like hmm? I said no I do not wear underwear every day because I am not one of those grip girls I don't have Anything down there that's coming down that don't need to be coming down or whatever. No, I don't have none of that stuff going on. So, um, guys, I do not wear underwear every day. And I do not give off any type of odor. No type of odor. No kind of vaginal discharge. None of the above. Um, it's each his own. I don't wear underwear every day. And in the summertime, guys, it's the most time that you will find me not wearing underwear. Um, I would do it in also the winter months. But in the winter months, you be trying to get yourself all warm. <laughs> mm. But um, yes, in my summer months, most of the time, no, I am not wearing underwear because I like the free flow. I don't have a cycle. I don't have discharge. I don't have any of that stuff. So I do like feeling the fresh, fresh air. I mean, let your body flow. Let it, let it go. Let it go. 
So, um, the only times that I did wear underwear um, is when I used to have a cycle. So, of course, during that time, you do want to definitely have on underwear. So, I would wear underwear during that time. Other than that, um, unless I have on jeans and if they're like my Levi's or something, if there was a soft, soft jean, well, mm, sometime. But um, if it was my Levi's, or my lucky jeans oh no i am wearing underwear okay so um yes so i know it's a lot of you out there that don't wear underwear just like me um i'm out right now no i because of breast size yes i have to wear a bra but i have on a short skirt and no i am breathably fresh okay so the next thing guys that we're going to talk about and then I'm going to wrap it up is the lining of the panties. So guys, what lining of the panties or none should you use? Well guys, when I do wear panties, they're on always cotton bottom. I don't care if I have on thongs. I don't care if I have on um, a G-string. I don't care if I have on the lace panties, high cuts, boy um, shorts. I make sure I do have a cotton breathable seat. Um, now, with your lingerie or lingerie, um, that is like wearing at night and if you have a significant other um you're not gonna be in that that long so if they are um have no type of cotton well that's fine um most negligees don't come with a cotton seat but never who less um definitely make sure that they are cotton seat bottoms or just don't wear any. <laughs> so guys, um, I was on the road and wanted to ask some questions and to bring through what you think and what you feel is the correct way of hygiene. So guys, this is VLG. Please like, comment, share, thumbs up my video. Leave a comment on some of the things that I asked in this video. And guys, don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And until the next time, guys, I'm traveling and I'm out. Bye.